Okay. Hmm, this is a tricky one. classic case of puzzles in video games. They are everywhere. They range from simple obstacles to figure out to dimension-crushing jaunts to get through. Though regardless of their level of difficulty, they should be given a level of care that contributes to the main gameplay of said game. Often, the worst kinds of puzzles are the ones that are obscure to figure out and as a result will halt gameplay and the pacing of said game, possibly resulting in the player being frustrated at the whole thing. I say possibly because half the fun of a puzzle is after all solving it. A difficult puzzle isn't necessarily a bad puzzle. The major difference between a difficult puzzle and a bad puzzle is that bad puzzles typically don't feature any... Let's say hints in their solutions. The main game featured here, Crush for the PlayStation Portable and Nintendo 3DS, is a puzzle platforming game that will make sure to instruct you, the player, or rather, Danny, the protagonist of said game, on how to traverse these various whimsical, surrealist worlds. The game wants to make sure that the player isn't confused on how the main mechanics of Crush work, with the only thing the player should be figuring out are the puzzles themselves. However, there are puzzles in video games that require real-world knowledge in order to solve said puzzles. The piggy bank example being one of them. These kinds of puzzles are often associated with point-and-click adventure games, where in most cases is simply finding an item and seeing where it will advance the story. Take King's Quest V, for example where you have just found a bag of peas in a kitchen. What do you think the utilization of these peas might be? A recipe, perhaps? Well, according to this game, no. It's for tripping up a blue beast that will try and abduct you. Good, 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 good. Huh? I know. Don't ask me how you were supposed to know that. In other words, edible marbles. Eat your vegetables! 